All right, so today we are doing a review on the Thermocure, uh, basically kind of like a coolant for your car, mainly to get rid of uh, rust, and it's also to flush the cooling system. Now, turning this out on my 96 Jeep Cherokee, by the way, this is in no way sponsored. I actually just came up with the idea to make this real quick, um, and they don't know who I am, and I just bought this off of Amazon again with my own money, so I have no affiliation with the company. I simply bought their product, and I'm not sponsored by them. They didn't give this to me for free. So I'm gonna try it out on the 96 Cherokee. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to, well in this case, I've already taken out the uh, thermostat. I'm gonna replace it with a 190 degree. What's in there is a 195 degree since I am having uh, some overheating issues, which is actually what I'm doing right now. I'm flushing the entire cooling system, um, but there is a lot of rust in there. So I'm gonna see if this stuff actually works and judging by the Amazon reviews, it does actually work. So I'll give you guys a uh, internal view of the engine where the thermostat goes, the inside of the block there, and I'll show you guys how much rust there is. And then I'm gonna probably put this in here for two or three days. Um, tomorrow, the day after I'll put this in, we're actually going on a pretty long drive. So that'll give it a lot of time to uh, circulate through and clean up all the rust. Now, basically what you do is you put this in, uh, this, uh, let's see here, treats uh, cooling systems up to three gallons. The uh, cooling system in the Cherokee here is three gallons, so this will work perfectly. Pour it into the radiator, um, and you then pour in normal tap water. Now, I don't like the idea of putting normal tap water in your engine, but it's only for two or three days. As long as it's not going to get cold outside, it'll be all right. So uh, we're going to put this in, put in some water, and then it'll pretty much be all set. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to give you guys the internal view of the engine to show you guys, well, all the rust. All right, so I have the thermostat housing off. Um, I had this off earlier today before I even started the video. And don't worry, I'm going to replace the gasket. I know it just fell apart basically when I uh, took it off. So just to give you guys an idea on how bad this cooling system is, this is the coolant out of the radiator itself. Now, keep in mind, this radiator is probably two or three months old. I just replaced it with the CarQuest brand. And this is just the coolant that was remaining in the system. I put a lot of new coolant in here, but this was still the end result. A bunch of rusty coolant. It's horrible. Keep in mind, this is just what came out of the radiator. Um, I flushed the block, the heater core, and a lot of other stuff came out of there too. So now I'll show you guys inside the engine here. And there we are. That's the inside. You see it's a, uh, it's relatively rusty and keep in mind this is also after my flush. So all this rust is now going to hopefully get removed by the uh, Thermocure right in there. So there you go. That's what it looks like. And also show you guys the uh, back of thermostat housing here just to show you guys. Now, again, I was in here um, a couple months ago and I kind of cleaned up some of that the best I can. So I guess uh, what I'll do now is put the new thermostat in here, put a new uh, thermostat gasket. And uh, well, we'll go and see how Thermocure does on cleaning up this engine. All right, so it is now a few hours later and I uh, now have pretty much the entire system filled up with water and the uh, uh, Thermocure is also in here. Now, originally when I uh, put all the hoses back and stuff, filled it up with water, um, it was pretty much completely full of water from when I was flushing out the uh, system. Now also, I'm gonna point this out, I also have my new thermostat and uh, thermostat gasket in there, right there. Now, I actually got a, um, gosh, I forget the brand now, but I'll show it later on in the video. Uh, it's a 190 degrees, so it's five degrees lower than what the uh, OEM one is. Uh, here's the brand, Motorrad, that's right. Um, so that's in there. I have the uh, gasket installed, and the engine is now filled up with the uh, Thermocure and water. Now, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and drive this around for a couple days, and you want to be really careful to try not to have this thing like idling for too long or something like that, or else uh, I have a strong feeling it'll probably get pretty hot, if not overheat, uh, because there's water in here now, and water isn't as good uh, for dissipating heat than coolant is. Uh, so really, if you're going to be doing this, you want to be very careful about uh, how hot it is outside, and if you're going to be leaving your car idling for a long time, just shut it off. You don't want a car overheating, so... Um, 
I'm gonna go and run this here for a couple days, uh, probably about till Sunday morning. And then I'm going to drain all this out, flush the system once again, and I'll take off the uh, thermostat housing again and um, take a look inside the engine. I also bought a couple more gaskets, so obviously we're gonna replace it while we're in there. So um, get back with you guys in a couple of days. All right, so it is now four days later and I've had water and the uh, thermocure running through the radiator, the heater core, and basically the block and everything else. Um, driven the vehicle for probably about two and a half hours. In that time, it says about three to four on the uh, bottle, but I think days and how long it's sitting in there is really gonna matter more than uh, how much you drive it. So uh, I've already taken the overflow bottle out and that really wasn't, uh, there wasn't really anything much in there. It's basically just, uh, the way I put it in, which was just water, and I poured it out right there. Um, now, I do want to show you guys something. This came out when I opened the radiator cap. I guess there was a little bit of pressure on it because I drove it down here. I didn't let it run for long, though. Uh, but this came out, and that's pretty gross. So that's something to note right there. Let you take a look inside the radiator here. This stuff is more of like a, uh, a green it looks darker in real life, but it's more of like a green, kind of a brown almost. So that's pretty interesting. And I'm about to uh, go ahead and open up this little valve here, if you want to call it, to let all the fluid out of the radiator. Now this tub is completely clean right here. This uh, dirt that you might see, that's just grease, okay? So if any water gets in it, it's not going to stir it up. It's going to stay there. So. Let's go ahead and open this up and we'll see what we get out of here. I'll try to do this on camera. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is disgusting. So apparently the stuff is supposed to turn black when it reacts with uh, rust and stuff. And well, it's, uh, it's definitely black, I'll tell you that. Wow. Got a little bit on the ground, but that's all right. That is crazy. Got pouring everywhere. Check that out. Darn. Got some of it on my hand, too. That's all right. Be sure to wash this stuff off, which is actually what I'm going to do now while this uh, is draining. All right. I just took off this uh, little hose here going to the thermostat housing. It goes to the uh, little valve there for the heater core and all of this stuff just started pouring out and again it is still black so it's definitely uh, reacted with some rust absolutely crazy really good stream of it too you can see it's coming out right there so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put in the uh little t valve whatever you want to call it uh, right here it's going to go to the thermostat housing actually no i'm going to have to uh take out the thermostat as it is. Let's first go ahead and just clean the system without uh, having the uh, thermostat out and we'll see what we could get out of that. And then I will go ahead and take out the thermostat housing, take out the thermostat, show what's inside the block and then flush it once more with the thermostat out of it and then take off this once again, see what the end product is on the inside of the block and then put everything back. So. I'm gonna put the uh, little T valve right here. All right, so here is my setup. And in case you're wondering why there's water in here, it's because just a minute I turned the faucet on, but then I forgot to uh, put the little drain plug back in the bottom of the radiator. So I had to stop and put that in. Only a little bit came out, but not much. And again, here's my setup right there. So let's go ahead and turn on the faucet and now see what comes out. water is starting to go in here give it a second and this should start coming out here it's got to fill up the radiator of course so it's going to take a second and i can hear it oh there we are oh man check that out So that's probably a mixture of rust and, of course, the thermocure. Again, it's supposed to turn black whenever it reacts, and 
This stuff is definitely black, so at least it's uh, done something. That's uh, definitely reassuring. Now you want to try your best to catch this stuff. Uh, unfortunately, I really can't. This was just sitting here as dripping a little bit. I guess I can move it over now. Down here. Again, you really could try to, or you really want to uh, try and not get this stuff on ground or anything, or else that could uh, kill plants and possibly animals and who knows what else. In this case, though, it's just going into a drain, so even if it does get anywhere. Sorry about that there, I got yet another phone call. I don't know what's with this video and me getting phone calls. But anyways, you wanna try your best to catch this stuff. Obviously, it's not good for the environment, so that's what I'm doing right here. So we'll come back in probably a minute or two, give us a good opportunity to flush, and we'll take off the thermostat housing, and I will show you guys the inside of the block, and gosh, let's hope it actually did clear the, uh, the block out from all that rust. All right, so you're gonna see this at the same time I am. I have both of the thermostat bolts removed. If you're wondering, the uh, smaller one right here goes on the bottom. The bigger one goes on the top, very important. So let's go in and take this off. I hope it doesn't ruin the gasket. I do have a couple more, but it'd be preferable to save this one and it's gonna rip apart. Well, that's all right. There we are and the thermostat's coming out with it. We don't want that. Definitely don't want it to fall. All right, here is the thermostat. This is the Moto Rad 190 degree. Got it the other day. There's some sort of a weird residue on it. Huh, okay, well, I'll clean that off. Let's go and set that there. And let's take, oh, okay. Let's take a look inside. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, uh, I would assume it's supposed to be black, but, uh, I mean, it kind of worked. Let's put it that way. It's definitely a lot cleaner. There's definitely less rust or less rust. I'm just not sure if the inside of this is supposed to be black or not. I thought it would be more of like a silver, like what we saw before. Though I guess before it was covered in rust, so I didn't really know what color it was. Well, there you guys are. There's the results. Uh, there's still a little bit of rust left, as you can see there. But it definitely did take a uh, a lot of it off. I'll go ahead and put up a before uh, photo in just a second. Again, remember what this looks like. And now here is a before photo. Uh, as you can tell, I mean, there is a bunch of rust in the before photo. Um, I just, I guess I thought that the inside of the block was supposed to be like a silver, but I guess not. Let's go and take a look at the thermostat housing. Oh, wow. Yeah, check that out. It got all of that off. Wow. I couldn't even do that uh, when I had this off a couple months ago. Uh, I couldn't even get all the rust off with a, with a scrub brush. That's amazing right there. So yeah, definitely clean the thermostat housing a lot. I just, I don't know. I feel like the inside of this is not supposed to be black. I just, I'm not sure though. I guess I could totally be wrong and you guys are probably laughing at me. But uh, anyway, so there is the result. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the thermostat housing back on. It's probably gonna be leaking because I don't really wanna spare another gasket, uh, but that's all right. It's just gonna probably be a couple drops. Anyways, I'm gonna put the thermostat housing back on without the thermostat. And then I'm going to flush the whole system for a couple minutes, probably start the car and have it, you know, push a bunch of dirt out. So I'll go in and do that now. And of course I'll film that too. All right, so I have the thermostat housing installed right there with the old gasket. Now don't worry, I will replace it. Um, it's probably gonna spray everywhere, but it's whatever. It's not gonna be running for long. Here is the uh, new thermostat. And it, again, it has this weird like coating on it. I'll try to wash that off the best I can. Let's go and set that over here though. And let's go ahead and turn on the faucet, see what we get out of this thing. And no, actually, it's not leaking at all from the thermostat housing. That's surprising. All right, well, let's see what we get out. Give it a second here. Oh, there we are. Oh yeah just dirty again. There we are. 
gross. And there we go, now it's starting to clean us. So I'll let this run for a while. All right, and I guess what else we could do right now is go ahead and start the car. So let's go ahead and go over here. Let's go ahead and start her up. Now you don't want it to run for too terribly long, and if you do, well, actually, there's no thermostat in it, so it's going to stay constantly cool. But you would want to take a look at the uh, temperature gauge and make sure it's staying cool. But again, there's no thermostat housing in it, so it's not going to get hot. Oh, wow. Yeah, there we are. That's what I was wanting to see. Be sure to run it. Yeah, I think this is actually, I think it's leaking slightly, but again, it's an old gas, what you expect. It's still coming, man. It's definitely really bad. Don't rev it just a tad bit. Remember, it is cold, so you don't want to rev it too much. So it's been running here for a couple minutes and uh, now the water is a lot more clear. It kind of went from that dark color to more of like a murky and now it's pretty clear. But one thing I just did is I put my hand under there. You can see my hand's practically clean. It's a little bit of dirt right there. Uh, but I'm going to put my hand right there and check it out. There's like chunks and little particles of stuff coming out, which I would assume is rust right there so you really want to make sure the stuff is clean before you uh, go any further you can see it just keeps coming so I'm probably gonna let this sit here for maybe another five minutes again keep an eye on your temperature gauge it should be staying cool and you can see mine is I also have the heat on so then it gets uh, cycled through the heater core which is something that I didn't mention earlier but it's a good idea but see it looks clear but you put your hand under it and there's just those little particles of stuff. And this is, I guess it's kind of warm. Now it's kind of starting to curve, so it's not too terribly hot. Uh, one thing also, make sure if it does get hot, to have your water not getting on your bumper here. In this case, this is a replacement bumper. I don't know if it was doing with the factory bumper, but the other day, uh, while I had the engine running, it was about 210, I was cycling the water through here, and it was actually so hot on the bumper, it started to like uh, fade it, kind of. You can kind of see it right there, actually. I think I could get that off over time, but that's something to note. Also make sure, of course, it's not hitting your computer here. Now I think it's getting cleaner, but there's still those little particles in it. And of course, remember to rev up your engine a little bit. Not too much, remember it is cold, but that's gonna spin the water pump faster, so there you go. All right, so it's now been a while since I flushed the entire cooling system. I flushed the heater core uh, by itself, and I flushed everything else for probably a total of 15 minutes. So let's go and take a look inside of here now. And yeah, it looks about the same. So flushing it after didn't do too terribly much, except of course get all the old uh, thermo cure and stuff out. So there you are. That's about as best as it's gonna get. So did it do its job? I would say it did a decent job, okay? I, I was expecting it to be a little bit better, but it did also clean the thermostat housing. So it didn't clean the block as good as it did the thermostat housing and probably a lot of other uh, passages in, in the uh, engine, such as, well, the radiator. So I would say I think it did do a, a pretty decent job at cleaning. Would I recommend it if you have a bad cooling system, kind of like how I did, uh, go in and throw, you know, $15, $20 at it, get that. It will uh, only help it, can't hurt it. And uh, also I read something on Amazon about this thing having a smell uh, and not being able to get it out of your cooling system and stuff. And you constantly smell for like a year and, uh, and more. I can't smell anything, okay? This stuff 
doesn't really smell. It smelled a little bit when I got it on my hand and I washed it off. But other than that, I can't smell it at all right here. And I have a whole bucket of it right below me. Um, so I, I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know if they used the product incorrectly or something, or maybe it reacted with uh, some antifreeze they had in there or something, some other chemical. Uh, but this stuff doesn't smell at all. So I don't know what they're talking about. So uh, again, non-biased review. They have no idea that I was doing this. So this is what the inside of it looks like. And again, I'll throw up a, uh, a before picture right here on the screen and that's what it looked like. So there you are. I would say again, it did a pretty decent job. So I'm gonna go and put all of this back. And I'm also probably gonna come back in a couple of days to tell you guys if that solved my overheating issue. Um, I think getting new coolant in here would solve the overheating issue more than the rust in there. But anyways, I'll come back in a couple of days, tell you guys if this did actually fix the overheating issue on the Jeep Cherokee. Also wanted to show you guys the inside of the hose here. I went ahead and took this off because I'm gonna have to clean off all those gaskets. So again, you can see the inside here. It's totally clean now, very impressive. Let's go and show you guys inside the hose and I already took a look, but there you go. There is no rust in here at all. And as far as I know, these are pretty much the original hoses as far as I could tell. Again, I didn't own this car for since it was new, so I'm not 100% sure. But when I was in here the other day, these hoses were totally caked with uh, uh, dirt and, well, not necessarily dirt, but rust. And now they're totally, uh, totally clean. So that's really cool. So I uh, definitely did a good job in the hoses and the thermostat housing. And I, as far as I'm concerned, it did an all right job in the uh, uh, block itself too. So there you go. All right, so it's probably about a month and a half later after I put the uh, radiator fluid or the coolant back in my radiator after the Thermocure. And I'm gonna go over if Thermocure actually fixed my overheating issue. And the answer is for the most part. Okay, so I want to go over this first. So to put the Thermocure in, first of all, you have to get all of your coolant out. That's going to get all of the old bad coolant out in order for you to put the Thermocure in. I think Thermocure did help to fix my overheating issue because it, get, it got rid of, you know, all that rust and stuff, which is acting as a insulator. It's making it get hot. Um, but I think mostly just getting all the old terrible brown coolant rusty coolant out of this thing is what mainly fixed my overheating issue i think thermocure just was kind of like the uh icing on top of the cake or whatever that saying is i think it did help a little bit with my overheating issue but it didn't completely solve it because i still every once in a while this thing does get a little bit over 210 um it's even gotten to the red before but that's with the ac on and it's sitting and i have the uh uh, electric fan wired up to a uh, switch that I can control and not the engine so that's kind of my fault but I do believe that Thermocure did help with my overheating issue um, I don't think it completely just by itself fixed it I think mainly the new coolant definitely helped it a lot so um, for 20 bucks I believe it is again I got it on discount so I believe it was about 15 if you have an old car or just a simply a neglected cooling system like this one had i don't think the cooling system has ever, ever been serviced on this thing and it's 24 years old so um if you have an old car with a neglected cooling system or even a newer car with a neglected uh cooling system definitely i would say throw 20 bucks or even less if you get on discount um i think i'd say throw that at it and all it's going to do is help it. It's not going to hurt it. Um, again, I showed in the video that it cleaned out all the hoses. It cleaned out the block. Um, so it definitely did a good job. But I did notice a little bit, probably a couple of days after I um, actually put the coolant in, um, I apparently had an air bubble in my cooling system. And what I did overnight is I put a funnel in the uh, radiator where the radiator cap goes. And I filled that up with coolant. Um, so then all the air bubbles will get burped out of it overnight. And that actually worked pretty well. Um, but I noticed in the um, little funnel I was using, there's a bunch of little black like sediment in it. Um, it almost looked like sand. Um, and I think that was the remaining converted rust that was like in the block and stuff um, that was just going back into the radiator. So I found that kind of interesting. Um, if you're going to be using Thermocure, what I'd recommend is use the Thermocure, um, you know, let it work for four days and then flush it out with 
water, fill the whole system up with water, drive around for a couple days with just water, and then come back and empty it out and all that black stuff should be gone. Um, I didn't do that, but for the most part, I don't think it's really affecting my cooling. I think it's, I just don't like that it's in there. Um, maybe I'll do another coolant flush in a month or something just to get all that black stuff out, but there it is. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open the hood here. I'm gonna have to put you guys down. Give me a second. And I'm just gonna show you inside of the uh, radiator here. And also I do wanna note this. Um, this line here was actually brown when I first started before the thermocure. And that was because all the rust that was in this thing just simply um, basically colored this thing or dyed it uh, brown and the thermocure got rid of that completely. So I found that pretty interesting. And yes, there was uh, pressure on that, but it's okay because I have the little safe thing here and a little bit's coming out, but that's all right. Just to show you guys, it's pretty green. It's a like a tad bit uh, brown, but it's definitely not uh, not nearly as bad as it was. That's for sure. So there it is. Pretty cool. So I'd say again for the price of Thermo Cure, just go in and put uh, just go and put it in your car every uh, couple of years, and it will keep your cooling system in good health. Again, it didn't cause any problems with any of my hoses or anything, any of my seals. Everything's still sealing fine. I've had no leaks or anything. So um, I'd say for the price of Thermocure, I do recommend it. It did a good job on my cooling system. Again, just be sure to flush all that black stuff out. Um, kind of sucks that it's in there, but it's really whatever. So there it is. So in the end, I do recommend Thermocure. And let me focus my camera. So there it is. So, uh, yeah, guess that's really for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.